Hey Bears, Eric here. It's 2024 and it's a feminine for men to get dressed. Apparently, <laughs> men getting dressed, uh, you have to follow like a strict code of conduct. You have to do it in a masculine way. I don't make the rules. Apparently, Nina Infinity does uh, because she made this post about the Superman uh, suit reveal. And, uh, you know, she's cracked the code. She's figured it out. <laughs> There's a problem with the suit and she has been the master sleuth and figured out exactly what's going on here so be careful when you're getting dressed do that in the privacy of your own of your own home and make sure you do it in the most masculine way possible whatever that means so this is a post and we're going to go through this it's really funny to me we're going to go through some of the responses on this because she kind of doubles triples down says some other really dumb shit this is wild to me uh but before we get into this if you want to enjoy the video join the revolution subscribe like leave a comment down below and let's have some fun here okay so need infinity if you're not familiar uh was a big part of like the nerd Roddy crew, uh, heel versus baby face, stuff like that. She was very involved with a lot of the stuff they were doing and she's been on the outs with them for some reason. But I have heard that they have been more like doing more comic book stuff and apparently, you know, she wasn't a good fit. I can see why, if that's the reason why, then obviously these kinds of takes don't help. But anyway, there's a lot of legitimate complaints I've heard about the Superman reveal. People wanted to see the suit without battle scarring. They wanted to see him standing up so they could get a better look at it. They wanted to see some kind of dynamic pose. The lighting isn't good. It looks all, you know, you know the way he's hunched over kind of bundles up the suit. There's a lot of really good criticisms about this poster. There's also a lot of memes, which is fine. But, but there's a difference. This take isn't a meme. It's not valuable criticism. This is what Nina had to say. I figured out why the new Superman seems off. Again, she's cracked the code. Because it's an effeminate pose. And then she shares the same two pictures side by side. Apparently, this is the Superman poster of him getting dressed twice, right? Like, there's no difference in this one and the other one except one's black and white. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That is a woman putting on pantyhose in a camisole in what looks to be maybe the 1950s, 1960s, somewhere around there. But somehow these are the same two pictures. This gives the same energy. You need to have your eyes checked. If these two pictures look the same to you, then you need to go see a doctor. Just my friendly advice. Because not only are the poses not the same, but there's nothing else in the picture that is similar. She's not even putting on boots. So it's like a real stretch for her to try and use this as an example of what feminine energy is. It must really suck. It must really suck for the guys who have to deal with this kind of bullshit where these gender roles are so strict and defined that something as simple as putting on your boot is somehow feminine. It's really weird. I don't know any other way to put on shoes. Unless you're just putting them on the floor and you're jumping into them. Then she goes on to say, it's not a good pose for a man that's supposed to be the strongest man in the universe. <laughs> oh, this is like, what the fuck? All right. <laughs> Let's read some of these comments down here. Uh, I posted, I have to tell you, I cannot wait to do a video on this dumb take. This is gold. And I, that's exactly what I'm doing. So James here says, are you saying men are feminine for putting boots on? I mean, it shows that even Superman puts his shoes on one boot at a time. And then she goes on to say, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the pose angle of the pic is feminine. Oh, okay. Also, Superman wouldn't put his shoes on one at a time. A regular man. <laughs> All right. Hold on. A regular man would. Superman would not need to sit down and put on his shoes. So you are arguing that. You are you said no, that's not what you're saying, but then you double down on it and say, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The Superman wouldn't put his shoes on one at a time. Was he put them on two at a time? What the fuck? Assuming he's Superman, why would he need to sit to do that? He doesn't need the strength to pull them up or to balance and not fall down. Is this satire, mama? Is this a joke? Please tell me this is a joke. And then Chrissy here uh, lets her know, it's clear you know absolutely nothing about Superman slash Clark Kent. Yes, he would put his shoes on one at a time because he was raised human with human habits learned by human parents. Yes, even an alien humanoid sits down to put their shoes on. 
Also, he looks and is very masculine and handsome. And then Nina goes, I probably don't know more about Superman than you. I'm humble enough to admit that. That you could have left it there. You could have just that you could have walked away and said, you know what? I need to delete that tweet because it's really fucking stupid. But you didn't. You go, however, from what I do understand, Superman doesn't act like Clark Kent when there's a battle at hand. Well, Nina, I don't think that he's out in public. He's in a room in that promo shot by himself. He switches into Superman mode faster than a speeding bullet to change. Are you trying to show your, your uh, Superman lore knowledge there? You think he just starts taking out pieces of his clothing one by one and puts them on while there is someone destroying a city? My God, this is this is what brain rot does to you when you have just melted. Your brain is melted and rotted from overanalyzing media to a an absurd point. Chrissy goes, that's fine. I wasn't trying to be rude to you. Superman isn't a mode he turns on and off. He is always Clark Kent. He's always Superman. As for the suit changing, there's 86 years of lore with that. Matter of fact, he used to change in a fucking phone booth. I believe this photo shot is showing the human side of Clark. Right. The humanity. Because here's the thing. Superman, at the end of the day, regardless of how powerful he is, always shows his humanity. That is something that is very... It's, it's part of his character, the core of his character. It's the thing that differentiates this version of Superman from all the Elseworld versions, from all these other ones that we get, is that Superman at his core is a kind and caring and, and human individual, even in this alien body that he's in. Uh, and then Darren says, we have no context for this scene. Let's see what else she has to say here. Sorry, I had to edit there. It seems like she went through and deleted a lot of her responses. I saw a lot of them last night that are gone now. So I went to Reddit because Reddit had some of these saved. So these were some of the responses. So this is somebody, I guess, that agrees with Dina that goes, the point is Superman is essentially a demigod. You do not see a demigod putting on clothes because it lowers him to our level. Clark Kent is human. He can not He can be meek or stumbling and is completely fine. Superman is a symbol of the ultimate heroic ideal and power. And Dina says 100. This is the Zack Snyder shit. This is the Zack Snyder shit. He's the one who really pushed hard on the God mythos with Superman or the Jesus mythos, I guess, with Superman, uh, with this idea that he's above everybody else. And that comes from lack of nuance with his version of Superman. He started out really strong in Man of Steel. There is, at the beginning of that movie, there's a lot of subtle nuance about that Superman, but we never really get that again because once that movie ends, um, it's pretty much just him there being Superman. So anyway, this is this take is like, ignoring everything else except except for Zack Snyder's Superman. This one's funny. I've been putting on my shoes just like that since I first started using shoes. Everybody I know puts on shoes just like that. I don't understand why this is feminine. Let's see what Nita has to say. It's a feminine pose for a picture of a superhero that's supposed to be the strongest man in the universe. Which, by the way, that is Nina projecting what she believes masculinity is, not what it is for like the standard. This is her projection. So if she sees a man leaning forward to put on his shoes, she does not perceive that as a strong man. That's that's essentially what she's getting at here uh, because there's no way you could look at that and put the, connect those dots without having like a pre-conceived uh, idea of what masculinity and femininity is in that regard. You put your shoes on as a man every day. You're not Superman, I think. If you were, you wouldn't be sitting down putting on... What the fuck? You know why? Because most people sit down to put on shoes, especially boots, because they need strength to pull them up and not lose balance as they do. Do you think that would be an issue for Superman? What the fuck is this? What the actual fuck? And how does a masculine Superman put on his boots? Nina says, you wouldn't see him doing it. And if he did, he'd be standing. You are severely, severely overthinking this to an absurd point. You really are like, this is what a connection to, to the community that over analyzes and over scrutinizes everything from comic books. This is what it leads to. This is the kind of shit that you end up like dying on a hill over. There's a lot of criticisms that you could give for that picture from James Gunn. 
There's some really valid and important criticisms that I've heard about it. This is not one of them. This is dumb as fuck. Like, like Superman is supposed to hop like a rabbit into his boots. Yeah, he's got super speed, but there's no context for that scene. It's a photo. It's a picture of him sitting in a room by himself, looking like there was just a major battle. He is taking a moment to sort of reflect on all of that. And I want to leave on this because I think it's really important. Superman has always shown humanity. It is a part of him that is important for the people that have written stories, some of the greatest stories about Superman. We're going to look back to the OG Superman film 